What is mob beauty? Well, if you care about clean, healthy ingredients, if you care about vegan makeup, cruelty-free, if you care about the planet and the environment and sustainability in your makeup and beauty packaging, mob beauty is really worth your time. I want you to follow them on Instagram and TikTok. It's a product made for everyone. That's why it's called Mob, but it's held to a high standard. It's held to a professional makeup artist standard, and yet it's just really fun, creative, unique formulas that anyone can use. You're in the right place if you want to know more about Mob Beauty. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Michelle Spieler. I'm an over 25 year professional makeup artist. I worked in Hollywood. I now live on the East Coast. I still do Hollywood production work, um, but this YouTube TikTok thing has taken over my life. I'm also the creator of the Mature Makeup Masterclass, a series of over 20 videos on mature technique, ranging from all different types of budgets. That link is always, always in every video I do here on YouTube, but to access it, you have to always click on the title of the video and a menu drops down, okay? There's a quick one minute video explaining more about why you might need Mature Makeup Masterclass. And P.S., if you're over 35, you need it. I priced it low purposely so everyone could have access to it. Okay, today I wanna talk about Mob Beauty. Today is all about mob beauty for a couple reasons. One, back in, oh gosh, was it early November? We launched the um, M93 Mob Beauty Lipstick, which I don't even know where it is right now, um, but it's this color right here, this beautiful kind of plummy rosy mob. I created that color because you asked for it. I came to you guys and I said, what is a color you really wish were out on the market? And you said you wanted some form of rosy pink, mauvey pink, rosy plum, mauvey plum. And so I created this color with my beauty and it did so well. I think it's their top selling lipstick of all time. Um, and I have you to thank for that. And I appreciate that. So I also, at the same time, was asked to join their cream highlighter team. And I'll get to that in a minute. It's the whole purpose of this video today. First, I wanna clear the air. If you are a Saint customer, you might be confused like, wait, I thought you were a Saint artist and why are you talking about Mob Beauty? Couple reasons. One, I am a 25 year pro. There is not a brand under the sun that I don't use. Some I like better than others. I love Saint, absolutely love it. I love that it all comes in one compact. I love helping women with their whole face in one compact and I love the makeup. I just really love it. But I only came to Saint a little over a year ago. I've been with Ma Beauty going on now three years. Yeah, three years, we're in 2023, they launched in spring 2020, right when the quarantine hit, okay? And I had been following them because in the early 90s, I was a professional makeup artist with MAC Cosmetics. It's how I really learned my trade. And Vic Casali, who is the head, uh, he's part owner of Mob Beauty and the head chemist, the cosmetic chemist, he was the chemist for MAC. He started in like the mid 80s when Frank Toskin came to him and said, could you make a powder foundation? Could you make really pigmented eyeshadows and lipsticks? Because Frank Toskin was um, a hair and makeup artist, worked in a lot of photography, worked on a lot of models, and he just couldn't find products that held up well for photography. So he created MAC Cosmetics, which stands for Makeup Artist Cosmetics. Unfortunately, he had to sell to Lauder in the mid 90s. It changed the whole company. And Vic, the brilliant Vic Casale, left in, I believe, 99, 2000, somewhere around there. And he went to a brand called Cover FX. Okay, this is going to be today very interactive. So if you've tried anything by color cover effects, put it in comments. Let us know. Did you try the cover effects drops? 
they were brilliant, okay? <clears throat> when he went to cover FX, he met Alicia Gallagher. Alicia came from Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier gave me their entire line of makeup in 2004. I had just started working for a show, Extreme Makeover Home Edition, you know, the megaphone, move that bus, and they built a whole home in one week. I did the first four seasons of that. I traveled all over the country, and I reached out to Laura Mercier, and I said, hey, would you like to sponsor uh, one of our shows and, and send makeup? And thank God the person who was the contact said, oh my gosh, that's our favorite show. My family loves it. I'm going to send you everything. And she sent me one of one and sometimes two of everything in the whole line of Laura Mercier. Now I was already familiar with Laura Mercier because I worked at a swanky little boutique called Fred Siegel in Santa Monica. And I was the rep for NARS Cosmetics, but I worked next to Laura Mercier and we all helped each other out. So if there was not a Laura Mercier rep, I could help those customers rather than trying to lure them to NARS. We didn't work that way. We were all classy and we all loved each other. I would help people with Laura Mercier. So I got to learn and use Laura Mercier. And so Laura Mercier stocked my pro kit for the first few years of my career. Also Mac, you know, I had a ton of Mac because that's who I worked for and they gave a very generous 40% discount to um, makeup artists, okay? So this is why, this is important why, I'll tell, why I tell you this whole backstory. Um, so Alicia comes from Laura Mercier, extremely, extremely talented and very experienced in the cosmetic industry and how to get brands on the shelf, how to get brands in marketing, how to get brands in catalogs, all the things. She's a great business girl in addition to an artist. She went to work for Cover Effects and her and Vic fell in love, professionally speaking. She's in love with her husband and he's in love with um, the cutest girl in the world. Um, but they worked for Cover FX and they made beautiful products together. And so they came together to start a company that was really based on their cosmetic morals, beauty morals, life morals. And that is they wanted vegan makeup, cruelty-free. Not all vegan makeup is cruelty-free and not all cruelty-free makeup is vegan. I know, it's hard. It's, it's so convoluted and I'm not gonna get into it. They wanted sustainability. The environment's very important to Alicia and Vic and they wanted sustainability, which is why you know, you get to customize your palettes any way you want with all different types of products. And they are doing some very exciting things in the future. They even came out with these little tiny clamshells that are also recyclable and they're light as a feather. And I love that because as a pro, these get very heavy in my pro kit. So I'm real excited for the, the future of their packaging. And I can't wait to talk about that down the line. So sustainability, um, vegan, cruelty-free, and oh, P.S., really clean ingredients. And I, I don't know. I mean, I guess they call themselves clean beauty, but that's not really their soapbox. But they do use ingredients that are safe, deemed safe. And um, they are at Credo Beauty. And if you know anything about Credo Beauty, you have to be clean ingredient brand to be in Credo Beauty. Um it is exceedingly hard to make beautiful makeup without silicone. Now, silicone in itself is not inherently bad, but it can end up in the water supply and never disappear. So they are against silicone at Mob. It is exceedingly hard to make beautiful colors without carmine, which comes from beetles, and yet Vic does it. Vic is like mind-blowing. So I started following Mob before they were even Mob. They were just news and I started following them because I was so geeked out about it. Then I get to know Vic and Alicia. Then they ask me to come to Palm Springs to their lab in October, make a lipstick, make some lip glosses that are gonna be launching in the spring to make some hyaluronic uh, cream highlighter that's launching right now. And I was like, yes. 
So then I met Belle, who is their PR marketing genius, and we call her BBG, Baby Belle Goth, because she also worked for Mac and her mom worked for Mac. So do you see how like we're all like intertwined, right? Mob beauty to me is family. Okay, they are my family. I'm I'm gonna get emotional just talking about it because I just I love them so much and it is so hard to be a small brand right now and to be an individual beauty brand when you're competing against all the noise out there. Okay. So, you know, so when asked if, well, well do you like Saint or mob? Well, d which child do you like better? Are you a mom? Tell me who your favorite child is. Like I love both and I can help different segments of women with both, but mob is my family and Saint is my family. So imagine you worked for Maybelline, okay? And you made a lot of money and you loved Maybelline, Maybelline, Maybelline. You helped all your family and friends with Maybelline. You loved it, right? But then at Thanksgiving, your cousin tells you they're gonna start this like really independent, cool beauty brand. And because they're your cousin, you're gonna help promote it. You're gonna help people also with that brand. And I think there's room for both, right? So Mob is my family, Saint is my family, okay? And so you will hear me talking about both. If I had to use only two makeups on the planet the rest of my life, I could probably easily use Mob and Saint for the rest of my life and be completely fine and happy. But there's so many good brands out there that I like to use a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. So I'm gonna talk about all of it but when you ask me in comments, well, do you like this as much as Saint? Well, do you like makeup by Mario as much as Saint? I don't know. Do you like your firstborn as much as your baby? How about that middle child? How much do you love that? I mean, we love, we love it all. Okay. So that's what I'm going to start by saying. Okay. So I want to talk to you today about Mob and I'm going to put some really cool colors on. Now I'm going to put something on my face that they have not released yet and it's kind of a youtube exclusive but i can't really talk about it <laughs> but <laughs> i think you might get the idea of what it is okay and then i'm going to do a quick eye look and then i'm going to show you how to use the hyaluronic highlight balm we call it hhb now, they also invited my co-partner, Sarah, Sarah Rosie. You can find her on Instagram and TikTok, Sarah Rosie. And she, her platform is Conscious Beauty. So she just wants you to really think carefully about what you buy, the ingredients you buy, the brands you support. Um, you know, use something up before just running out and purchasing more. So that's Sarah's platform and she's young and beautiful. She's worked in product development for a brand in New York City. And so she helped on this launch of um, the HHB. Okay, so that looks pretty darn good, eh? Um, what else I like about this product is <laughs> it's a concealer too. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't tell you what it is. I'm so sorry. Give it a few months and we'll we'll tell you. We'll share, okay? But it's very beautiful. Okay. So one of the reasons that they called themselves Mob Beauty is it, Vic fought very hard for this title. Mob means many. Mob means a community of people. And he wanted a community to help gear products and direction and and he really listens to the audience this is one of the reasons i asked you what lip color you want and you told me and i and so i made it i didn't make a color i wanted otherwise i would have made a bridget bardot color i wanted a color that you all wanted that was real important to me i had to get out of the way and lo and behold i think because i have a lot of gray growing in my M93 is so pretty on me and I didn't think I could wear it because typically my whole life I've not been able to wear mobs and plums and I could wear it quite well. Um, so let me do my brows real quick. I'm just going to be super fast. 
This is something that is not mauve today. This is the Glossier Brow Flick. And I like it because look at how fast I can do it. So again, Mob Beauty can be um, found on uh, mobbeauty.com and they can be found at Credo. And if you haven't checked out Credo, you should. There's really amazing brands like Jenny Patinkin. She's the, you know how I talk about the Jenny Patinkin um, eyelash curler is the best I've ever used. It's better than the Shoot Uemura. And I never in a million years thought I would ever not use Shoot Uemura. Shoot Uemura is the best eyelash curler in the world. Every makeup artist pretty much agrees on that. And Jenny made one that was even better. Look how fast and easy that was on my brows. Jenny also makes uh, double-ended brushes and they come in this great carrier, Jenny Patinkin. She's amazing. Um, she's at Credo. Um, Westman Atelier is at Credo. You know, I've been, I've used the Westman Atelier, um, the blush, um, the contour, the Westman Atelier drops. It's magnetic, so look at that bobby pin. So Westman Atelier, um, lots of great brands over at Credo, so check them out. So then um, Mob met this really cool vegan makeup artist named Jessica Hayes. I'm going to use the Mob Beauty Cream Clay Blush. Real quick, I want to tell you about Cream Clay. Cream Clay... This is how this is just how brilliant Vic is, okay? It, these are creamy, okay? They're creamy, but they matte down. So they're great for those of us that love cream products, but they're really great for those of you who want a cream product, but you don't want to be sticky and dewy all day. These matte down. And for women who are like, oh, Michelle, I just don't like bronzer, or bronzers are too orangey, or bronzers are not the right color. I agree for so many of you, you need M80. M80 is this like really cool, fair blush with no yellow, no orange, and yet it warms up the face. And I'm gonna use it today because I want you to see it. You can tell how much I love it. These matte down or dry down without looking dry and matte. They are so unique. There is nothing like them, okay? And you know how much I love my Bella blush. My Bella blush is, I mean, my Bella bronzer is probably my favorite bronzer of my life. But this M80, M77 is nice too. M77 is more like the Bella. And so M77 I'll wear more in the summer and spring when I want to be warmer. But this M80, do you see how it's beautifully adding dimension to my face without looking remotely orange or yellow there's no metallic in it so it's not going to give you that like mica look to it it's just freaking brilliant and i have to think that i think alicia is the one who came up with m80 the color because she's very fair and she's very light pink and light pink women don't look good with a really yellowy or orange bronzer, okay? Look at that. Do you see that's giving me beautiful dimension? But it doesn't look like a color. It's so cool. Had I not tried it, I would never gravitate towards it on a website because I just wouldn't think that would be the color for me. I was going the outside of the face a little bit to give some dimension right there. And then I always take under just a little bit, not much, just a little bit. Okay, not great. I love it. So that's the cream clay. And if you look at it real close up, you can see some sheen on my face where that product that I will not name is on, but where you see the M80, I, it's not super, it's not, it's not sticky. Look, my hair's not sticking to it. 
and it's not uh, shiny. And then, you know, we will take our stands out sponge, my favorite sponge in the world, and just make sure it's really blended in and pressed into the face, okay? Now, Jessica Hayes, getting back to Jessica Hayes, beautiful vegan artist, vegan makeup artist, comes to Mob the week after I'm there, develops the coolest colors. She's a gothy girl. She's kind of funky, rock and roll goth. And she created the coolest colors I've ever seen, okay? I'm jealous. I'm jealous I didn't think of these, but I'm not cool enough. I'm really not. This, I did a whole TikTok, TikTok on this. This is like a black green that really resembles tattoo ink as it starts to age. Look at that. It's just, and then as you shear it out a little bit, it starts getting greener. Oh, I died when I saw that. Especially because in TV and film, we work with a lot of tattoos and fake tattoos and we have to match fading ink and it's always that kind of green color. Um, but I love all of these are cream clay. Now, so just like the cream clay bronzers, the cream clay shadows also are creamy, but they start to set and mat down a little bit. So I'm going to use this color. It's kind of a bricky terracotta, kind of a reddish brown. And I do have the Mac paint pot underneath because you know, I always want that Mac paint pot. And I'm just, you also know, if you've been here for some time, you know how much I love using my fingers. I love it. I have so much fun with these Jessica Hayes colors because I love using my fingers. It makes me feel like a kid again. Look at that. Now you can put that on lighter with a brush, but I just, I, I just freaking love that. Um, and then I like to take a little, um, brush and then I'll blend it out and look at how dimension, look at that dimension. It's only one color. Isn't that pretty? So let's do this eye. So talking about beautiful makeup in a hurry, right? Because you can just put this on with your finger and then you can kind of fan it out a little bit. Now, the nature of cream shadows is they do crease a little bit. They just do, that's the nature of cream shadows. It's kind of the look. If you cannot stand creasing you might not want a cream clay shadow or I recommend buying at least one and trying it because you might be surprised at how much you love putting it on and how fun it is. Look at that. That's the only thing on my eyes. That's it. It's the only thing I got on. Ooh, it makes my green and my eyes pop. They're really green right now. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little pencil brush and taking that same color, I'm gonna smoke it under my eye to really kind of round that whole eye out. Can you believe how much dimension I have though? Just using this color. I love this. Wait till you see it with liner and mascara and lips and everything. You'll, you'll be, it, right now it probably looks spooky to some of you, but to my rocker girls, you're gonna be like, yes. Also, also, would you be interested if you could have a palette that was maybe like all the French look, like a simple French look in one palette. Or, or this could be and or, a look that was all rocker chick 
you know, not as goth as this, but like rocker palette. And then maybe one that's like French beauty out the door, five minute make palette. Let me know. Cause this, these are things I'm working on right now. I'm going to go back with mobs soon. And these are things I'm working on. Okay. So tell me in comments what you think. All right. So I need to get water for the cream. I mean, for the um, cake liner, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I'm going to take the Mob Beauty brush. It's totally flat, so easy to use. And I'm going to dip it into the cake liner. And then we see on the hand if that's the consistency. No, see, too light. Sometimes you have to get a little more wet in there. Getting there. You're fine. Okay, that's where I want to be. That's another cool thing. You get to decide how your liner looks with cake liner. And I'm going to just go. This brush makes it so easy to just go right where the lashes are. Makes it so easy. And because it's slightly damp, it's not going to fall all under the eye the way a black eye shadow can. I'm going to wing it out a little bit, but not too much. This isn't really a winged eyeshadow look, but I almost can't help myself, you know. Just a little bit. And I'm when I tell you I really wedge it between. And then you can go up into the waterline too. And I'm literally pressing it into the lashes really. I'm not even going on the waterline as much as I'm kind of pressing it underneath into the lashes. Cause I don't want it on my lower rim. I could go on my lower rim. I just don't for this look. It's already a nice heavy look. This is so pretty. I just love this. Okay, and then I'm going to take the tiniest bit let me see, where is my Jenny Patinkin brush? I'm gonna use Jenny Patinkin since I'm doing, talking about Credo. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of the M77 and I'm just gonna blend any edges so it looks seamless. This is a real subtle step. I almost don't need it, but I'm going to do it because remember with mature beauty, we don't want to see any lines. We don't really want to see where something's starting and stopping. We want it to have almost kind of an airbrushed feel. Okay. Now, another cool thing about Mob Beauty is this is their new lip gloss coming out. This is... Oh, Y'all, this is what I love so much. Okay, so. This is, hold on. This is their lip gloss, but it also works in the mascara tube. So. Let me open the mascara because they just sent me a new one, which I'm so glad because I don't know where the old one went. I can't even find my M93, my beautiful lipstick I made for you guys. I can't find it anywhere. Thank goodness Vic poured some in a little pot for me. I love the packaging is all this amazing cardboard. And if you peel these labels off, you can compost this. This can go right into your soil. Because they think about these things they think about these things. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it. But anyway, look here, the mascara pops right in there and then the mascara lid would go here, but I can't get it off the lip gloss. 
but that's okay because we're still going to use it. So I do love that they have one capsule for their lip gloss and their mascara. Now, if clean ingredients are real, real important to you, you're gonna absolutely love this mascara. And if clean ingredients are not important to you, you're still gonna love Mob Beauty because it is makeup artist quality makeup. How could it not be? Vic and Alicia work for it. You know, I mean, they they own it. They create everything from the heart. They're always thinking of makeup artists because that's what Matte Cosmetic was. It was for the makeup artist, and then the the public is like, we want that too. So Mac really changed the world. P.S. If you have taken advantage of the back to Mac policy since the 90s. If you return six empty Mac products, they have to be empty, six empty Mac products, you will get a free lipstick of your choice. Estee Lauder is getting rid of that policy, I think in March. So you only have until March to trade in your empties for a free lipstick of your choice. The reason Frank Toskin started that program was because he cared about recycling. And he would take the MAC cosmetics that you recycled and give it to a company that would make like trash cans and park benches and like really important things, right? So again, Frank Toskin was just ahead of the program. Okay, let's do a little bit of blush. I'm gonna do M74. Also, this is cream clay, cream clay blush. And um, I really love this color. It almost resembles like the tiniest bit of like sun that got on your face. I'm not doing a lot, I just want a little bit I really want you to be able to see the new highlighters. And again, cream clay means that it's a cream formula, but it's going to dry down because of the clay. So it's not gonna stay sticky. Your hair will not stick to it. Look how pretty that color is. It's so subtle. I could go on heavier, but I don't want to. I wanna keep it subtle, especially because I've got dark eyes. You're not gonna believe the lipstick I'm about to do. You're gonna think I lost my mind. Always, I like my nose, you don't have to. I like my nose because if we go into the sun, we're gonna get color on the bridge of our nose. And I always loved that as a teenager. I loved getting that beautiful reddish tan on the tops of my cheeks and my nose, a little bit on the forehead. I loved that look, but I'm a Southern California girl, okay? Okay, watch this lipstick, y'all. Grage, it's grage. This is also Jessica Hayes, the beautiful, beautiful vegan makeup artist I told you about. You should follow her. She's on Instagram. My face looks so good, I don't even have to powder it. So I'm gonna use a good old fashioned nude warm pencil. This is Anywhere Caffeine. By Makeup Forever. This is the pencil Haley Bieber made very famous in the last couple years. So you got nothing on my lips. And now I'm gonna go in with this Grige from the 90s. And I thought, oh, I can't wear this. No, I can wear it, it's so pretty. It 
if you loved wearing these kind of like death colors in the 90s, but you're like, oh, I can't wear that anymore. We're gonna wear it differently. We're not wearing it thick like the younger girls, watch. See how I blend that into my lip? And like my M93, it's a semi-matte. Now I go in, I know you'd never think I would try that color, but I love it so much. Now I go in with my Lawless Plumping Lip Balm to give it that little bit of sheen because sometimes I feel like mature women need the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of sheen. I want more color on my nose. Okay, look at the look at the mascara. Do you see that? Holy moly. Okay, now here comes the highlighter. Here comes the highlighter that Sarah and I worked on with Vic and Alicia. Now, when we came to the lab, we did not start from scratch. Obviously, Vic had a great formula but it was either too sticky, too slippery. Oh my gosh, all my colors just fell out. Lovely. Um, so this is why they wanted us on the team so we could test it. We sent it out to some of the people in our audience also to help test it um, and get feedback. Like, do you like this? Is this something you would wear? Is this something you would recommend to your audience? And so far, everyone we've sent to has loved it. Where is my... Okay. So, here we go. This is one of the main colors that I helped develop. And I can't tell you the brand that I kind of was inspired by. Um, it, it's very very high, 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 high end brand, it's super expensive, not fragrance free, not cruelty free, not vegan, not clean. So I felt comfortable kind of going with that type of a color that I love, but I didn't love the formula. I love the color. So we came up with M98. Okay. And I want you to see, it's like this beautiful kind of champagne, works on any skin tone, more for fair, light, or medium. But watch, it's on my fingers. I like to put it in a little C shape around my eye. Do you see that? It just looks like healthy skin. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna do a little bit on the brow bone. Okay, and I like a little bit on the inner corner of the eye. Okay, so I'm glowy, I'm glowy. When I smile, it doesn't make my, my crinkles all around my eyes look pronounced the way a powder highlighter would. Powder highlighter is going to make your crinkles look sharp. This is soft and pretty. And it looks like maybe you just had a beautiful facial. Okay? It's very diffused, very glowy. If you want glass skin, if you love Korean beauty, if you love the young girls with the super glassy skin, you are going to want M99. Now it looks scary. It's white. Trust me, it's not white. It's very sheer. But there is like holographic frost inside of it, but it's not going to look frosty on the face. I promise you, I would never recommend frosty on the face, but it's going to give you a beautiful iridescence. And this one's gonna go right here. And then look, see how it's a little bit more glassy? Oh, I love it so much. I really thought the M98 was my favorite because that's the one I really was pushing for. And then I got the M99. 
And even with all the prototypes they sent me, I'm like, yeah, 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 that's cool. I like that. But the final one, I was like, I put it on last weekend and I'm like, what? And look close up. Do you see how it doesn't enhance the wrinkles? W look at that. I'm sorry. There is nothing on earth like this color, M99. There's nothing like this either. And this PS has skincare in it. Hyaluronic acid spheres, squalene, vitamin C and E. This is skincare and makeup in one. It's brilliant. It's why I couldn't wait to show you. The whole purpose of this video today is because I couldn't wait to show you these cream highlighters. I'm going to do the M99 on the nose just because. I mean, what? Look at that. But this side's beautiful too. This is just more diffused, looks more like you had a facial. And this looks like, hi, I just stepped off the plane from South Korea where I got the best skincare and makeup in the world. What? Come on now. Now we also have for deeper skin tones, and by the way, that M99 works on even dark, dark skin. It's gonna look even more cool. Like it's gonna look more blue purple, which I'm jealous because I wish I had deeper skin. But we also have M, is this 96 or 9, M97, which is rose gold. And then we have this beautiful bronzer, M96, which is real bronzy. And you'll see me wearing this this summer. I might do this a little more in the spring when I start to do rose golds. This is summer, but these two work on medium tan and dark skin tones. However, anyone can wear both those and anyone can wear this. I think the only one I wouldn't recommend for dark skin tones, and I haven't, I can't speak for this firsthand, but I feel like M98 on a dark skin tone could maybe look ashy, which is why I would do the M99, okay? So there you have it. This is all Mob Beauty. Um, <laughs> it's just so fun. It's so much fun to do makeup. It's so much fun and it even inspired me to start having fun with other brands because that's all it took. It, it just took Jessica Hayes being a cool, funky chick to create colors that nobody else out there is making. And when I started playing, I'm like, okay, now I'll try this. Okay, now I'll try this brand. Okay, now I'll try my Saint. And I started exploring and having fun again. So this really kind of shook me out of my rut I was in. And look, that's the only thing on my eyes is that one color. And look at how multidimensional it is. Another thing you could do is you could even take... This is going to make it crease more, but again, it's more of the rocker chick, so I don't care. But you can take this M99, put it on the eyelid, and now we just added even more dimension to our eyes with that beautiful highlight on the eyelid. I mean, come on now. Stop it right now how beautiful this is. I love it. And what do we think about... What do we think about Grige lips? Would you wear this? This is, um, where's the Grige? Oh my gosh, and how much are we loving this mascara? I haven't used it in a while. I forgot how amazing it is. Um, the lipstick is, color, M102. M102, and by the way, when you buy M102, a small percentage goes towards helping the bats. So if you're into bats, how cool is that? That's really cool. And then also don't forget my M93 is this beautiful rosy mauvey plum color, which by the way, with a plum lip liner looks more plum, with a wine lip liner looks more wine, with a natural lip liner looks more kind of a cool rosy neutral like it my my m93 changes depending on what type of uh pencil you wear with it which is why it's so great it works even on dark skin because it just depends what pencil you use with it okay all right i just was so happy to talk about my beauty it's like talking about you know 
it's like talking about my family. So it, I had to tell you about it and I had to show you this skincare and highlighter in one because I'm so proud to be on the team. We, we went through so many formulas till we found one that looked beautiful, but hair didn't stick to it. Well, it sticks to your eyelashes, but not the face. <laughs> that was our test. We kept like doing that to make sure hair didn't stick to the highlighter because none of us wanted sticky. No, no one wanted sticky. So we worked real hard and look, glowy, glassy, glowy, glassy. So pretty. Okay. Thanks for checking in today. Thanks for listening to my whole backstory. I felt it was very important to explain why Mob Beauty is so, so special to me um, and how I don't love Saint or Mob one or the other. It's apples and oranges and I can help more women by using more diverse brands. And again, which, who's your favorite kid? Is it your firstborn? Is that your favorite? Is your baby your favorite? It's the same with makeup. I don't always have favorites. I might have my top five favorites or my most used, but I can't really say one is better than the other because I, I just, I love it all. I do, I love it. So thank you for checking in. Please comment below if you think you could wear this grige. Please comment below if you think a cream highlighter is for you. I think it is so important on mature skin. It's going to give you that look of perfect skin without having to have perfect skin. Also, would you like to see a French beauty palette by Mob Beauty? Would you like to see a rocker eye beauty palette from Mob Beauty, but maybe nothing that's as goth? Um, let me know. I want to, I'm, I'm getting feedback for a reason. Okay. And I think that's it for now. Thanks for always being here. I love you guys so much. Bye.